Hello friends, I just finished reading this book and I have some thoughts. So this is the sequel book to My Roommate is a Vampire, which if you guys have been around long enough, you know I love this fucking book. It was amazing, just chef's kiss. This book, same thing, chef's kiss. It's got the fake dating. It's got the one bed trope. It's got the strong independent woman who don't need no man, but you know, when a man shows up that is super fucking handsome and also a vampire and is funny, you know, why not date him, you know, if he adds things to your life. Also, let me show you some shit that I tabbed because some of this I found really, I loved it. Like this part, I liked my life, love my career, my cat, my apartment, I love my friends, and most of the time, I was completely fine with being single. Yeah, vibes, girl. Like I felt like the author was just literally writing my life right there, girl. Ooh, and then this quote, worrying about things way too far in advance is kind of my thing. Fucking vibes. So yeah, the long and short of the plot is we have our main character and she's been invited to a family wedding and she needs a plus one like yesterday. Like she has nobody to take to this thing. And if she shows up alone, her family is going to just shame her as most families lovingly do, you know, in that kind of condescending way. Like, oh, you're in your 30s and you're still alone, single, and you're, you know, happy about it. And she is. She's totally happy. She's got a good career. She's got a good life. She has a fucking cat. She's rocking it. So she signs up this lovely slice of a vampire over here, which they have a chance encounter meeting. And he ends up owing her a favor. So she's like, yo, be my plus one at this wedding. And the dude is like, hell yeah, that sounds funny as fuck. I'm in. Hilarity ensues. It's so funny. We get tons of cameos with these two love it so if you enjoy these two characters you get plenty of cameos with them it's just a nice palette cleanser when you're you know reading a ton of thick fantasy books it's just a nice little rom-com very sweet like candy probably one of my favorite rom-coms this year five stars chef's kiss i need i need more of these jenna i need more <laughs> honestly i could just have a whole series of just meet cute vampire couples just like this.